Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be filming this makeup tutorial. This is my like go-to makeup look at the moment. Um, it's kind of warm, um, a little bit smoky and just when I've got a little bit of time in the morning I like to play with my makeup and do this generally. <laughs> so yes, I haven't filmed a video in ages because obviously I'm at university now and the lighting in my room is ridiculous, like it is so, so dark and obviously I live with eight other people so it's like madness all the time and there's just like people everywhere. I'm never really alone to do a video um, and what's the point of doing a video if, if they're dark? I've done two at uni so far, um, a room tour and one with my two best friends, um, my flatmates who live with me um, and they were dark and not the best videos ever. So now it's like a PDA week, I've brought my camera home with me and hopefully I can film a few videos. I know a lot of people, well a few people have requested um, a what's in my uni bag video. So that will definitely be coming up. Um, but today I thought I'd like get back in the swing of things and do a makeup tutorial because they are my favourite videos to do ever. I love them. Um, the lighting is a bit funny so I'm sorry if it's got a bit madness. I literally battle with light lighting all the time. Um, so yes, I really hope you enjoyed this video, I'm not going to babble for much longer, let's just get into the look. So yeah, I really hope you enjoy and let's get started. For this tutorial, I'm going to start off with my brows. Um, I'm going to just fill them in and carve them out with some concealer. So I'm going to use my Anastasia Dip Brow in Soft Brown, which you may think is a bit dark for me, um, but I think it works really well for my brows, so hopefully you'll be able to see that. Um, I'm sorry about my red skin, I've just moisturised, that's why it's like super shiny as well, but I'm just going to brush my brows through. And then with this product you barely need any, like you need like the tiniest little touch. I've barely like dipped into mine at all. I'm using my little angled brush from MAC, it's just a 208. I'm quite particular about my brows which is why I'm now like to do them first. Um, because then I can erase anything that I want to or anything like that and kind of just do them exactly the shape that I want. So to kind of carve out my brow shape I like to use my MAC Select Cover Up Concealer in NW15. Yes, this is so good. I didn't use this concealer for so long and now I'm like really back onto it. And then I use my little Zoeva 317 angled brush which it's just like a little angled brush, which I don't like for brows, but for carving out brows, it's really good. And you only need the tiniest bit of this concealer. And it sets really, really quickly, so I do one brow at a time. So I get a bit of concealer on and just start to carve those out. This is the way that works for me, so you can just carve them out however you want to. Or skip this step but I thought it makes like such a huge difference and I'm using this Real Techniques 201 little brush just to buff it out and I'll also use my finger a little bit just to warm up the product and buff it. So I'm going to start off with some Urban Decay Primer Potion just like the tiniest little amount. I'm just applying this with a little Real Techniques brush. You don't need to apply this with the brush at all, I just like. And just to further prime my eyelids and like blank out any colour on my lids, I'm using Soft Oak Paint Pot from MAC. Just on the same brush. I'm just going to set that primer with some Studio Fix Powder from MAC. Um, just on a little Morphe brush, the Morphe 524 which is a really, really nice brush just for setting those lids. Now that I've done that, I'm going to choose some shadows from my Z palette that I made myself and these are all Makeup Geek eyeshadows. Um, I got this on Beauty Bay. Um, I know that Makeup Geek is really hard to get in the UK, but Beauty Bay do sell the shadows now and Z palettes, which is amazing. Like, as soon as they came out, I was like, on it. I was like, I have to. Um, and I've picked like some of the shades that everyone loves and like that I thought would go really well together and I've created like a little palette. So that's what I'm going to be using today and I'm going to start off with this colour here which is Frappe and I'm using the Morphe 504 brush and I'm going to use this as kind of like a transition colour um, and just 
and get a tiny little bit of this and buff it on the outer corner and through the crease. I'm going to buff that colour out a little bit with just a clean blending brush just to make sure that that's really soft and fully blended. I'm now going to get my favourite colour and this is Cocoa Bear, everyone talks about this. And I'm using this on a Morphe, not a Morphe, I instantly say Morphe now for brushes because I have quite a few. Um, this is a 227 Look Soft Definer from Zoeva and I've got the colour on there so I'm just going to get this in the outer corner and bring it through the crease as well. I don't know if you can see how beautiful and warm that brown is. It's just beautiful. I'm going to buff that out and like blend it with my 221 from Zoeva. Just a little buffing brush. And I'm going to just buff over where the colour is. And really blend it. I'm then going to get another brush, just a clean blending brush. And buff the outer area of the eye. And kind of the outside of where I put the shadow a little bit more depth now and a bit of like plummy burgundy tones and I'm going to use this colour here which is called Bitten. Just on my same 227 brush and this is just going to be focused in the outer corner and I'm going to use the same blending process so a brush to just buff over the colour to soften it. and then another brush to work on the shape and out, blend the outer part of the eyeshadow. I'm going to get my little Morphe 507 brush which is the most gorgeous soft tiny fluffy brush and I'm going to use Mocha which is just this kind of deep brown and this is just going to further deepen up the eye so I'm getting this just on like the outer proportion and it's just going to add depth. And again with the same little blending process. So one brush to blend the colour, which you can just leave it like that, but I like to further blend and make sure that the edges are all seamless. Now for the fun part, I'm going to get this colour here, which I think is like sure, let me get it out. In the spotlight it's called and this is the most beautiful lid colour like if you love all that this is from MAC this is like five million times better it's one of the foiled eyeshadows it's the only foiled eyeshadow that I own from Makeup Geek Um, it's insane I want to get more and I'm gonna pack this onto the lid but I find with these colours like the best thing to do is kind of rub them in and the colours are so intense and I'm using my two three four from Zoeva just to get this on. So I'm going to begin to just kind of pat it and pack it on and then when you kind of rub the brush the colour just is so intense. I like to just get my little brush that I used for the colour and buff on the outer area of the eye like out of the outer area of where I put that bright colour so that everything just blends together. I'm just gonna get a makeup wipe and kind of clean up now. I've kept the eye very kind of rounded so there won't be like a form like flick, <laughs> but there will be some definition. Now to get rid of my awful red skin. I don't know why it's so bad today. I feel like I've got a bit of a cold or something. I'm going to use Studio Fix Fluid from MAC, which is my favourite foundation, and then buff it in with my Black Beauty Blender, which I love. <laughs> okay, so I'm now going to just apply some Pro Langlois Concealer from MAC in NC15, which is like so good. It's just so brightening and concealing, and I just use one little pump and it brightens everything up so I'm just going to pop this underneath my eyes 
I don't like to go all the way across because then it like sinks into fine lines. I just like to go kind of underneath here and then like blend it outwards. Just a little bit on my chin, in the middle of my forehead as well, and a bit down my nose. Tiny little mini beauty blender to blend this in with. This needs a clean, <laughs> but they're really hard to clean, so yes, but it kind of stains as well even when I do clean it. But they're really, really good to just kind of buff in product. Okay, so kind of before that kind of settles and sinks into lines, I'm going to use my Anastasia Contour Kit and this little brush from Zoeva, which is the Lux Highlight Brush, the 205, and I'm going to mix the Vanilla Shade and Banana. And this is going to give me like super duper bright under eyes. And before I do that, I like to go back in with my little mini beauty blender and make sure that because I've got this crease that constantly like concealer just gets into, I like to just buff that out and then straight away put the powder on and it prevents like creasing. I'm going to just set the rest of my face with my Max Studio Fix powder now, just with a big, a big Real Techniques brush. You definitely don't have to set your entire face if you've not got any skin, but I do. <laughs> Sorry about my phone, I'm going to turn it on to silent. Now I desperately need some more shape to my face, so back to the contour kit and I'm going to use this colour first and then this colour here. I'm not sure what they're called, I think one of them is like fawn or something. But yeah, so this one and then this one. This is more like a grey tone, so it really gets the contour and then this kind of just intensifies it a little bit. If that makes sense. <laughs> I'm using my Luxia Cheek Brush from Zoeva to do this with. Now I'm getting my favourite bronzer, my hair's all over the place because I have to like get it out of the way. My favourite bronzer which is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Bronzer. This is amazing, like seriously amazing. I've had it for quite a while now, um, quite a few months and it's just insane. It beats Hoola, it beats Nars Laguna, it beats everything. <laughs> you can contour with this too because it's matte but I like to just warm up my skin with it. And I'm going to use my big um, Lux Face to Finder from Zoeva to do this with. And I get this kind of like the tops of my cheeks, around my temples, um, and then kind of underneath the neck, like down the down the jawline and neck area, just to really tie everything together. I'm not going to apply any blush because I really like just having bronzer on the cheeks with some highlight. So for my highlight, I'm just going to use my amazing soft and gentle from MAC with this Morphe 510 brush which is such a good highlight brush like it's so good beats anything I've ever used on the tops of the cheeks now I'm going back to my little Zoe my Zoeva <laughs> um Z palette and I'm gonna use Coco Bear and a little bit of bitten just underneath the lash line to kind of smoke out my eyes a little bit I'm going to curl my lashes now and apply some mascara and my favourite combination at the minute is first of all the Roller Lash from Benefit because it's just amazing and it really separates the lashes and then the Volumizer from Bourjois which is just like boom intense big lashes so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm just going to go back to my brows for like two seconds and use this DIY brow, DIY brow bar from Soap and Glory. And the only thing I use from this is this powder here. Let's just get rid of that shitty brush. <laughs> this powder here, this is like kind of green. One of them is like a highlight and one of them is like a wax. Um, don't use any of them. I literally just use this dark brown. I use it very lightly on my angled brush, just over my brows, just to kind of set browsings in, not browsing, so <laughs> set the dip brow pomade like in place, even though it doesn't really need it. But it just kind of gets rid of any makeup that's got caught in my brows while I've been doing my powder and just intensifies them a little bit more and I really like the look of um, having a little bit of powder in your brows I feel like powder just makes them look 
really natural. Now for lips, I'm just going to do a very natural lip today. Um, I'm just going to use Baldly Bear from MAC, um, the lip pencil. I love this colour. Then I'm just going to use a little bit of Honey Love lipstick, which is my favourite lipstick from MAC. It's just such a gorgeous matte nude. Okay, so that is the final look. I really hope you enjoyed this video, everyone. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to film some more videos soon um, now that I've actually brought my camera home with me from uni. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy this look, everyone. Add some requests down below if you have anything you'd like to request. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!